Hello YouTube, this is Ken, VA7DRZ. Today I'm going to make a little clip on the programmable memory modes and we'll touch a little bit on the group scans. So let's give you a quick rundown of what I have here. Let's go to side A. Zero to um, 100, I have a few of my local repeaters. And then if I go up to the 100 to 200, I have some um, logging roads and whatnot. Quite a few of those. Then if I go up into the 200s, I have the search and rescue. I can monitor that. And if I go into the 300s, oops, 300s, I have LAD 1, LAD 2, the trucking channels. If I go to 4, I have the GMRS channels, I can monitor those. And if I go up to the 500s, I have the, um, the airport. Now this is AM, so I can only receive this on A side, I can't receive it on, on the B side. So, let's pick a PM programmable memory channel that we're going to work with. So I press the PM button and you see all the off, one, two, three, four, five. Let's pick number three. Now what I like to do is set it to automatic programmable memory save so that anything, anytime you tweak it, it automatically saves it. And we turn that on by going to 521 automatic PM is on okay so we can toggle that back and forth off on off on okay we've got that on on now anything I tweak on here as soon as I press the PM button or I push the off button it's going to automatically save it now here we can um, we can set our color. Our color is 503. So just for fun, let's um, switch it to green. I pressed the uh, the button here to save it, and the escape gets us out of it. Now, I don't really like the green, but I'll just show you how that works. Now we can also go to 501, which is our, our brightness. That was, that was the airport talking there. Now this is the brightness. So let's pick right there. Yes. Let's just turn that down a little bit. Okay, so now we uh, we can tweak it however we want. Now let's go make some group scans. Now we can so we can we can group together if we want to scan um, group one or group zero, which is zero to one hundred, or group one, which is one to two hundred, or group two, which is two to three hundred. We can group any of those together. So and save them under our PM. So if you're going to a different part of the country, we just press the uh, the programmable memory button that we have saved for that area and, and away we go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save my local repeaters and the airport. I'm gonna group those together. So let's go to function and let's go to 203. Okay, the zero flashes, so I pick what I want. I want zero, and then we press the reverse and forward buttons. I want to go forward, and I want group five, which is five to six hundred channels, five hundred to six hundred. And I go forward, and I press enter. So now I've grouped together zero and five in escape. 
So now this is on ground, so let's check it out. Wait till that stops. Now if you notice it's going all the way through 0 to 100 and then up to my 500 channels. So that's working. And now if I press the PM button or the um, power button, it's going to automatically save all these settings. So like I said before, you've got uh, 0 to 5, so we've got 6 program programmable memory channels we can save to whatever we want. Now you can only, for every programmable memory, you can only link together on, on one side or the other. So if I go over to this side now, you know, one group, it's going to have exactly the same groups scanned together. I can't have two different groups saved. So that's, that's just part of it. It's no big deal. So now what I could do is go over to this side. And here I could, I'm in the 300. So if I get that scanning, I can, uh, here I've got my 0 to 100 scanning and my 3 to 400 scanning here and also my 500 to 600 scanning here. Now I can scan all kinds of things I could go, I can put 0, 1, back to 0 and then group 3 and back to 0 so it would scan my repeater group every second time around which is uh, uh, something might want to consider. Now, if I press PM, that's what we've got to stop scanning before we do that. So if I press PM and go to off, the whole thing's off. So let's try going back to to PM3. And there's our colors. Everything is saved right where we left it. Now if I go up to program programmable memory number five, this is what I have set up for a crossband repeat. I can, and I can name it crossband. So here's my crossband, and here's the repeater I usually use. So it uh, it's kind of fun, and it'll save your 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 power levels and and all kinds of things. It's fun to play around with. Anyway, I hope this was some help. Ken, VA7, DRZ, and we'll see you next time.